Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel and EssenceOfMe.com. I am coming today, well it depends on which video you're watching because of course I'm so behind and I will be recording quite a few videos in this same get up <laughs> all today so that I will have my schedule back on track. But for this particular video, I'm going to do a little chat session and catch you up with what I've been having going on, which has kind of been a lot, but not really. I also have some fabric that I want to share with you from a, I'm trying the first month of a mail subscription. So I want to show that to you. I also have some yarn, which I kind of know I wasn't supposed to be having a whole bunch of yarn buying going on, but hey, it happens. So I have some yarn and I have, I'm sure it's something else and I just can't remember. So this is going to be a perfect video for pressing pause and going and grabbing either some tea or some coffee or water and your project and coming right back, okay? Uh, because I'm sure I'm going to be extra chatty. I haven't talked to you in a long time. I missed you. Did you miss me? <laughs> I got raggedy nails. My glasses are gone. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. So if you're interested in finding out what I have going on, I have pretty much like a mini haul. That's a nice mixture of stuff as well as some chatting will then stick around. If not, then I will see you all hopefully sooner than later. Thanks for watching thus far for everybody else. Let's get this party star heart Ted. I'll see you in a bit. chat video let's get this party started kind of feel like pink but not 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 really <laughs> let's go see you in a bit okay can't recall if I said my name is Dana <laughs> I'm Dana with the freedom please channel and essence of me.com this is the first time that I'm recording without my glasses on so I'm not even sure where to look because usually my glasses mask the fact that I literally look at my face because it's just so much easier than watching this little green dot okay I hope this message finds you all well and that you're doing well things have been nuts and crazy for me but I am here I am here so first thing that I want to do is I want to show you what I've been working on um, in the last update video, which it seems like I'm starting to do this more, just have like one lump sum update video for the month. I have been trying to work on and getting finished with long term projects that have just been lingering. So I have one that's complete, even though I have not blocked it. I also have a couple of small projects because I like to have little projects going on because you can carry them around and I'll show you just as an update if you didn't see the last video. And so I'm going to start with that. I'll start with the little project first. I have been knitting a lot of these little hats and here is the one that I'm currently working on. This is the brim. It's a one by one rib brim. And this is with my favorite hat yarn, which is the Baraka Comfort. And I would, this is actually just going to be like a, just a basic, basic beanie. But what I've been enjoying is doing these and using up a lot of the leftover yarn that I had from when I was doing some of those two-in-ones. So like I just literally had this much of this yarn left. And I have a couple of more colors that I'm going to show you and some of the things that I purchased so that I'll be able to finish this hat. And these hats are great if you want a real nice, basic, simple hat for even the summer because this yarn is acrylic. And I use a, um, I don't use a small needle, but since it's acrylic and it's the worsted weight, 
you can, it's actually quite airy, even though you get a full coverage, if that makes sense. So here's what I'm working on. This is going to be maybe the second or third one that I've done in the past month. And sometimes I make them and give them away. But this one is actually for me because I have some basic colors and I'll show you all when I show you the yarn. I'm going to finish up this blue and then change it over. And I'm not using a pattern. I'm just doing it as I go. And that is actually the reason why it's small like this is I literally roll it down like this and it and I drop it in my purse. Oh, and the needles that I'm using, I've showed you these before. These are the ones I love to use now to do hats, which are the Knitter's Pride. Uh, my local yarn store, my local yarn shop has the individual tips and cords. And I just bought size 6, size 8. And I think I have a couple other sizes because I needed them to do either a sleeve or something like that. But I bought my standard size for hats with the 16 inch cable and then I also have a 30 no a 40 inch cable so that if I wanted to do the magic loop that I bought and I keep usually just keep them just for my hats and again I used actually used these when I did the sleeves on my boxy so or on my sweater so they were good for that too but that woody kind of texture of the needle mixed with that comfort they just go hand in hand, so I love it. So that's the first thing, which is an ongoing that I'm working with on, and the other ongoing that I'm working on, and I finally have reached over the halfway point, and I keep showing this, and I'm gonna keep showing it until it is done. And it is my, um, I call it Big Bang. So I'm still going, still going. And this one, as a repeat, is one that I have to, I can only do in extended periods of time because of the beads and because of the charting. But we are still going. And I love this bag. This was in one of my swaps. Someone, and I can't remember who, I believe asked me about this purple bag. Now, this bag I purchased when I went to a conference called She Speaks. They were getting rid of these bags because it had the old date on it. And I think it was on sale for maybe $5 or $7. If I would have known then what I know now, I would have bought like 10 of these bags because they're great. And I'm planning on using this as an example to probably make me another bag because it's so good. I actually carry this bag when I go to conferences so that I have enough room to put my conference materials, but still be able to carry my ongoing project without carrying a purse. So that bag is perfect for that. And so, yes, so that's where I got the bag from. And there's no way to purchase another one that I know of. If I find out, I will buy them and I will let you all know. But yes, yeah, sorry about that. So that's the other ongoing project. The one that I have finally finished. Oh, I finally finished it. And... I have not blocked it, which is why I have not sewed in my ends, is this. <laughs> Look, it is finally done. Yes, so you see the like, see the wonkiness of the edge. And I'm going to show you. See, I did a, the Jenny surprisingly stretchy cast off or something like that. A bind, Jenny surprisingly stretchy bind off and so it usually curls like this quite a bit but once you block it you won't know it and it makes it really nice and just a nice little give isn't this yarn just beautiful it's just so beautiful and you can't really see but it's a nice 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 length and so I have already sewn in the ends quite a bit but what I do is I block it and then I do it one, you know, sew the rest of it in just a little bit more so that I won't have any issues. But I usually do that last little bit after I block it for these types of um, shawls. And here's the other one. And I think that's it. So that's, I just love this. Now what is hilarious is when I last talked to you, <coughs> excuse me. I said I was going to go through both skeins of my yarn, and I realized that it was already super long. And let me show you. I usually like to wear it. Hold on. I 
I just, y'all know I love purple. I just love, I don't, the royalty in my blood. Now, this is a little bit off because I don't have full mirror. Once this is blocked out, that'll make it even more, like, easier to kind of shift. Because it's asymmetric. You can even do more, like, you know, I like to sometimes even tuck it in to kind of give it a little bit of fluff, which is hard to do looking at my reflection. But the point is, oh, look at this. Isn't it just gorgeous? And there's like no gray in it, but it goes really good with this top. So that's that. I can just leave this on. Okay, what else? So I have more of this yarn left. This yarn is from my yarn box. And it was the Morning Glory Finger Paints Cherry Tree Heel. So what I did is once I realized that I was getting to a place that I wanted to stop, I was thinking about this yarn. Now in the yarn box, you only, well, for that particular one, we only received, we received two skeins. And I knew once I weighed my yarn that I still would have had like right at half of the yardage left on on my um it was wound in a cake so what i decided to do was to purchase another skein to be able to do something else with that new skein and then the, um, um, the rest of this half so i'll show you that actually um later as well so this is what i have left which is like right at a half or right under because I did it right before I did the edging. And I think I just like come right around that halfway point. And so I'll show you that in a second. But this yarn was awesome to work with. So here we go. What else do I have? Okay, that was it. That was it. This I did, this one, this I used, I still have the, um, I used the Turbo Lace to knit this. And I just like those for the fine. It's something about the, it's a little more porous. It almost, those turbo lace almost give you the feel of a smoother, of that, like of that wood for, from the knit, uh, Knitter's Pride, but not as, I don't want to call bamboo rough, but it's still, the yarn still has a little bit of, traction on that needle it's not totally slippery like my standard um addies so i i do like that and i have a lot of the smaller sizes in that because i've used it to do socks i've used it to do sh several shawls i used it to do something else it was a big project and i can't think of what it was so those are again another one of my favorites and that's why i decided to get the inner changeable set okay so those are my current projects i think that's it i think that's it <laughs> so with the current projects out of the way i'm going to show you some new things that i purchased over the month and now what is so hilarious is because i'm always thinking of you even if i don't come on <laughs> I have been getting my stuff put into the side, not putting it away because I wanted to be able to share it with you all. So let me go ahead and start my unboxing and unwrapping and purchases. So let's go ahead and get into the mini haul. The first thing, I guess I might as well go ahead and start with the yarn that I purchased to go with that little remainder scheme. Yeah, I haven't even opened it. Now what is, oh, ooh, now here's what sometimes can happen and I'm, okay here's some things that happen sometimes when you have hand dyers when you have hand dyers the the skeins are not going to be exactly alike um because they're hand dyed and so like this one it was technically the same color that i was it you know it no i'm gonna take that back what i'm saying is true and that the dyeing is different but what I decided to do was choose another color. I remember, see, because I did this last month. I didn't open it because I wanted to share it with you all. And it is gorgeous. Look at that. So I want to put this. Oh, I didn't show you. This is an old project bag that I made.
Now what I plan to do is probably alternate because this I'll have twice as much in yardage than this. So what I will probably do is do a shawl where I'll do two rows of this and one row of this or um, just do the, all this and maybe do a border with this or something like that. But I think I'm going to go with the alternating. Um, I purchased a really great book. Um, and I also got a great pattern for my birthday. So that may be how I use this. But this is so pretty. So pretty. Okay. And this is the... It's the Super Sock Select. It's four ounces, which is 420 yards. It's 100% superwash merino. And um, it's super soft, lower micron. The color is River Run. And this color oh, was Morning Glory. Was it Morning Glory? I think I said that. Oh, yes. The Morning Glory is the color. I love the feel of this yarn. And it must be that low mi micron. Um, portion of the fiber makeup okay so that is the first purchase and I'm going to put this back in here this is so cool and it's soft like I love me okay that skein was after shipping and everything it was $25 okay and I spent that on this because it's a great, 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 great. It knits up beautifully, as you can see. Also, I kind of just like had a, like a shift in my philosophy when it comes to or my decision making process when it comes to me doing projects like this. And as I pull this out, I'm going to talk. I'll talk about it. Um, I think doing the subscription to Yarn Box has expanded my thinking about the yarns that I purchased. And I know I've talked about this before on my channel, but I don't remember where. So we just got to have the discussion now. When I do projects like this, I started this project in May of last year, and I finished it this past month in March. So I was working on this almost a year. When I'm doing projects like this, I have decided that I will probably hardly ever use what I would consider maybe a lower quality yarn or, you know, something that I, not just in the quality and the price, but I'm going to use something that I love, right? Like, like love, 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 love. And the reason why is because when you're doing something and it takes forever, if you don't love the yarn and you don't love the pattern, you're not going to finish. You will not finish unless it's for someone else or you're giving it for a gift or something like that. So for me, I'm finding that when I do projects like this, like this, every time I pulled it out to work on it, it made me happy because I loved this yarn. And so now when it was time for me to purchase another skein, I didn't blink about it. As long as, I mean, you know, if you don't have the money, then don't. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And it just so happens that day I did. And so I did. But that's because when I get ready to put the, pull this out and put this on, I am going to love it. I'm going to, again. So that's kind of how I've changed. And so like with that Barocco, this Barocco um, at my local yarns shop will run you about 7 or $8 a skein. At one time, I would have been like, <coughs> right? And some y'all might think I'm cheap, but I would think that. I mean, but coming from buying, whether it was um, Red Heart, I love this yarn, um, uh, Karen, you can get a pound of yarn for one of these skeins of yarn that I'm actually going to show you, right? But once I started making hats with these, this yarn, hands down, like I, you will probably never see me use another yarn unless either it was a request or I'm trying to test out a new yarn. Like that's how much I love the Barocco Comfort makes beautiful stitches when you are finished your hat will look better than a store-bought hat and so in the end it's worth it and I'm actually planning to cast on a sweater with it to see how that goes as well so speaking of Barocco let's show, let me show you what I purchased I purchased two more skeins of the comfort because I wanted to make some solid hats for the summer it's about the time for me to do more swimming and so I tend to 
I want to wear more hats, especially now that I found a hat pattern that I like. And that's easy for me to just throw on um, because I don't style my hair as much when I got to swim. I don't do a lot of styling until the weekend. So I bought this first because you all know I love purple. And they don't always have names, but they have numbers. So let me read the information. Um, and I bought this from my local yarn store. Um, Barocco Comfort. It's 50% super fine nylon and 50% super fine acrylic. Um, it's a 3.5 ounce skein or 100 grams. Sorry. And it's 210 yards per skein for the solids. I also purchased black because, I, again, I was going for solids. Um, this is the same, but this is $97.69 as far as the um, color. And this is $97. Oh, no, no. Yes, $97.34, which is black. Another thing that I got from my local yarn store is, um, you all may recall that every year I do a mom's summer camp. And I'm testing patterns for the class that I do at the mom summer camp. And so I decided to try, I wanted to use a chunky or try to use a chunky yarn. I found last year when I did a chunky yarn, the project worked up faster. And so I wanted to give this Barocco um, vintage chunky a try. I'm trying to do something with one skein of yarn. If you have any ideas, let me know. I'm testing um, some slippers. And so this is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, 8% nylon. It is a 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams, and it's 136 yards. And so the color is 6189, but it's a like a gray heather, like a dark smoke gray heather. And so I want to try out this for my mom summer camp now the greatest challenge with the mom summer camp <laughs> is that I teach one class well I teach several classes but everything is encompassing that one class for that that those students and I found that almost every time most of the students there have never knitted before so in that one three-hour class I have to teach them how to cast on how to knit and or purl depending on what um, pattern I'm doing and they finish before the weekend is out. Many of them finish before the class is finished and some come back like the second day or right before we leave for me to show them how to um, bind off and to um, like if there's any sewing that needs to be done putting it together, all of that, and some come back like the second day to finish it. So that has been a great challenge to me and has really taught me <laughs> to be a very clear and effective um, instructor when I do those classes because I have people that like have never held needles before and I have to teach them how to knit and to knit something that they can wear home, which is amazing. And I've done it two years <laughs> in a row, so now... I'm like, oh my goodness, I got to come up with something else. But hey, that's the fun in it. That is that. What else do I have? How are we doing on time? Oh my goodness. I told you all that was going to be a mega video. Okay, so that was the yarn. Now we are going to do one more thing. So you all know, and if you don't, you are finding out now. So I'm just going to say you all know. If you don't, then just listen and now you know. I have a membership to... Um, I know this is ridiculous. It'll come to my brain. It's actually not a membership, but it's, well, they call it a membership and we get a discount, a 10% discount. Is it 10 or 20? This is so sad because I can't even think of it and my brain is so tired. Um, but anyways, every once in a while when they have new fabrics released, they send the members these mini skeins. So I think that's what I have in here. So here we go. And I know it's going to be a card in here because my brain is not remembering what it's called. And that's what it is. So let's get to opening. I have been... 
part of my time away, I was away because we were traveling. I went to a women's retreat in um, Marble Falls, which is outside of Austin, Texas. And they always make things so pretty. I also did um, have my birthday. <laughs> so it's been so, so, so busy. Willow yarns. That's what it is. <laughs> I was like, I can't remember for anything. Oh, these look like more like Easter Coast. So here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, but these feel like cottons. I'm sorry, my face is like itching. So let's see what they said. Willow Yarns Gold Leaf Member. You pay one time, uh, well, once a year, and you receive um, you see receive samples. Like th this means this is probably the third or fourth set of samples that I've received, and I've been saving them to probably doing one scrap yarn project. Um, and they usually do it so that you can try out either new yarns or see new colors. And so here we go. Dear Willow Yarns Gold Leaf Member, we know you love our yarns as much as we do, which is why we're ex we're enclosing many ball samples of our newest yarns and colors, along with three stunning patterns. Whether you've stitched with these yarns before or are discovering them for the first time, we hope each yarn will inspire you through its color and texture. So dig in and indulge in our cushy, soft, and luxurious yarns. And these are the Willow Sudsy and Willow Wash DK. The yarns that they, ooh, I mean the patterns, is a cables and lace raglan sweater. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. They also have a basic scarf, which looks like it's done like an infinity. Oh, with a bulky yarn. And, oh, basic infinity cow. Ooh, this stuff is done with a bulk. It is. And here are the yarns. This is the Sudsy. 85% cotton, 15% polyester. It's like a lilac. Here's Sudsy as well. You can feel the cotton in it. It reminds me of um, peaches and cream. Uh, this is this is like a, I guess like a light turquoise. Oh, that's pretty. These are Easter colors. Um, Sudsy as well. Here's a light pink. Sudsy as well. Yes, and this is like a coral. And this is Sudsy. And it's a yellow, a pale yellow. And so here are all the Sudsies. And the last one is a wash. Ooh, this is a DK. 100% anti-peel acrylic. Hmm. I like the feel of that. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. And... I guess one more thing. Lastly, I will show you all the, um, I received, well, I have one last thing. I'm going to put stuff everywhere. And this is, I decided to, do, to try out the Annie's. Annie's, um, they have a fabric subscription, and I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. Oh, here we go. But I wanted to try it out since I decided not to do the Yarn Box Lux anymore, just to see if it'll be something different, you know, to try different fabrics. So here's what I received in my first shipment along with this, and I just don't know if there's information or I'll just open it. Okay, here we go. Hang your fabric collection by Clockworks. 
Annie's Creative Quilters Fabric Club. And the pattern that they have here, it looks, oh, it's create a handy carrier using this fabric done in rich, vibrant greens, blues, and deep oranges. The classic patterns and designs will keep it current for years to come. Fabric is 100% cotton by Clockworks. It says it's made in Korea. Let's see. So here's the pattern. I'm trying to see. It's I I love having good diagrams. It looks like it's easy too. Oh, they call it a casserole cozy. That's cute. Okay, so let's look at the fabric. I don't know if I'm a casserole cozy kind of mom, a woman, but we'll see. So I'm going to just open. I'm going to just show these to the side so that I don't have to try to fold them again. So this is green. Oh, that looks good in the light. Now this, you oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Has these little swirls on it. It's a cream color with some little like tan swirls. Oh, you see it there. Then there's this. Oh, I like this. Polka dots. And let's go to this side, which is the fabric we saw on the outside. And this. And this. Now, what I really like about this is these are all fabrics that I probably wouldn't have chosen, but these are all fabrics that I like. And that's kind of one of the things that I was thinking about. It's somewhat like with yarn boxes. It exposes you to different things. And it also, since I'm kind of getting better at matching colors, <laughs> I'm not really good at it. I'm getting better. But this will help me because <laughs> they are all in the same, you know, ballpark. Okay, lastly in here, I don't know if this is normal, but it's a little something else. I like how this is all packaged in here too. Oh, let me make sure I keep this together. And this month, I won't even have a quilting update video because that did not go well. It did not go well. Ask me in the comment section if you would all would like me to give you an update. Even I'll have to put this in there later, even though I didn't do very well. Mm. Okay, this is the other thing, and I don't know if this is normal, if it's just because this was my first one. But let's open this. Okay, there's uh, some pens and a water erasable marker, as well as the basic stitch guide, how to guide. Uh, how to guide to quilting. Huh. <coughs> they have on the inside of this little booklet, it's tips, preparing fat quarters for cutting, cutting, seam allowance, pressing, pinning, construction methods, quilting, batting they have oh if you want to hand quilt it looks like they're doing some basting like basic basting no that's what they're doing okay and then binding and labeling and quilt care as well as um oh I like this uh, about doing um how to do the backing like piecing your backing oh and the sizes like for the baby crib twin queen and king oh i like how they have the yards um equivalents in inches as well in this chart here okay so that i believe for this video is it because this has been a mega video so 
Um, I hope that you all have enjoyed this. This has kind of been more so the things that I've been picking up and accumulating over the month and things that came in the, in the mail. Um, I have been just actually knitting primarily because... Um, things have just been so crazy and so I've been making the hats finishing this up because I was doing this on the go which is why I finished because I wanted to have it done before Mother's Day and um, and then these other things that I picked up along the way were either to finish some projects or like this this would be a potential subscription so I may do one more month to see if I like it but as of this this would be something really good to start getting a little bit of pieces here and there and then I can use like my coupons from Joann's or when my uh, local quilt shop has specials to be able to get those big chunks of fabric to go with items like this. So that is it. Let me know in the comment section what you are working on. Are you crocheting? Are you knitting? Are you quilting? Are you sewing? Let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video. I think I shared all the information. I do also have some other videos that will be coming up in the next, probably over the next week or so that I'll be recording. One being um, a um, viewer's request to cover basic measurements and rulers. And so I did, it's probably about 10 or 15 minutes talking about the increments and reading the rulers. And so I hope that's helpful. helpful. And that will be coming up probably um, probably next, early next week because I need to finish just, I don't, y'all know I don't do a whole bunch of editing, but I want to get it at least, you know, making sure that I cut out stuff because I needed help with the recording to be able to get that right. And so that is it. I hope this has been enjoyable and that you got some work done and I will see you all in the next video. Okay. So take care and have a fantastic day and I hope to see you all sooner than later. Goodbye.